In this video, I'll show you how to make a box that opens and closes using a simple hydraulic system. This project was originally conceived by two fifth grade students in my engineering class. Start by making the sides of the box. I chose to use craft sticks and hot glue, but you could use whatever you want. Next, glue wooden craft cubes into the corners. Use these to attach three sides and the bottom of the box together, like this. Glue two more cubes into the upper corners of the box just to hold everything together. Now we're going to make the hinge assembly by threading four cubes with holes through a four and a half inch piece of bamboo skewer. Glue two more cubes on the innermost hinge cubes, like this. Cut a craft stick to size and glue it onto the innermost hinge cubes right here. Now glue the whole hinge assembly into the remaining corners of the box. Make sure that the hinge doesn't touch the side of the box. My hinge does, so I'm going to glue on two more craft sticks just to give the side a little bit more clearance from the hinge. Okay, that looks good. Now glue the lid onto the innermost hinge cubes that don't already have a craft stick on them. It's time to begin hooking up the hydraulics, first by gluing a craft stick to the inside of the lid near the front. Thread a cable tie through the cube on the piston and then thread it through the stick that we just glued on and tighten it. Next, glue a cube with holes on the bottom of the box near the opening. And finally, use one more cable tie to secure the nozzle of the piston to the cube. Tighten it up just enough so that the piston doesn't slide around and try it out. Glue the last side of the box on, being careful not to pinch the hose. Just to make everything look better, I glued on pieces of craft sticks at the edges to cover up the gaps. For the final touch, I used a cable tie to secure the control piston to the side of the box. The whole project takes about an hour to make, and if you know where to shop around, it'll cost less than a dollar. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.